16 to 19 year old drivers are three times more likely to be in a fatal crash than any driver over the age of 20. 16 year olds brains are still developing and growing. Over 5,000 teens are killed each year while driving in the front seat and 50% of them and over 50% of them were not wearing a seatbelt. Two in every three teen drivers in a fatal crash were male. Male teenagers are fueled by hormones which cause them to be reckless and impulsive, which is very dangerous while driving. How many of you have teenage kids? How many of you want your kids to get in a fatal crash due to their friend being reckless while they're driving? No one, exactly. Today I'm going to be telling you why 16 year old kids should not be allowed to drive. But first of all, let's talk about how and when you can drive. I live in the USA and before you can drive, you have to get your driver's permit. The age you can get your driver's permit varies all over America. The youngest age is 14 and this is available in South Dakota, North Dakota, Alaska, Iowa, Kansas and Arkansas. In these states, you can get your restricted license from ages 14 and 6 months in South Dakota, 15 in North Dakota or 16 in all of the other states. But if you live in majority of the states, you get your learner's permit at 16. To get your learner's permit, you must pass the test and then keep your learner's permit for at least six months in some states. Pass your restricted license test and finally pass your driver's license test. My next discussion is the fact that majority of teen of 16 year olds are still in school and they are maturing and growing up as a soon to be adult. Teenagers are known for being reckless and impulsive. Risky, risky and fun and seeking fun. All of these traits leads to people thinking they are not ready to drive. If a fatal crash would be to happen, it could take their life, the passengers and the other driver involved in the crash. Motor crashes are the leading cause for teenage deaths. If a child dies at 16 because they weren't ready to drive, that is taking away the rest of their life and they can't experience living. As a 16 year old driver, you have to balance your relationship with your parents, schoolwork, big exams, getting attacked by hormones and friendships. So throwing a car and passing three tests into the mix is a recipe for disaster. As a study showed, 53% of teenagers do not wear seatbelts. 16 year olds have a higher chance of crashes than any other age. 56% of 16 year olds said they talk on the phone while driving. 75% of fatal crashes were due to teenagers speeding and being distracted by something other than the road. Traditional driver's education offers 30 hours in the classroom and only six hours on the road to teach kids what it's really like driving. A different study on teenage driving shows that one in five 16 year old drivers crash in their first year of driving and that 56% of teenagers rely on their parents to guide and teach them how to drive. Drivers aged 15 to 20 account for 9% of fatal crashes but only make up 5.4% of the population of drivers. This, the next argument I will speak about is the number of people teenagers in danger while driving. Lots of people this age like to party and hang out with friends. Teenagers are much more likely to when are much more likely to crash when they hang out with friends as they'll be pressured into driving fast or unsafely, which could cause crashes as teenagers are not used to driving and they do not always know what to do. Driving with friends is also less safe as they should drive with experienced drivers as they are still new to it. It is very likely that their friends are not experienced drivers and will not know how to help in sticky situations. As a 16 year old in America, 
you are not allowed to enroll in the mil military, watch R-rated movies alone, purchase tobacco or alcohol, work full time if you are still in school, get married without parental consent, consume alcohol, but they are still allowed to drive a vehicle, a vehicle that is very capable of injuring and or killing people. As I mentioned before, teenagers are still maturing and studies have shown that the front part of your brain, which controls multitasking, impulses, judgment and decision making, does not mature until your mid-twenties, which is definitely not when you're a 16 year old. In conclusion, 16 year olds should not drive because they make impulsive, reckless decisions and they injure themselves and other drivers and they are not capable due to the complexity of driving. And they are still growing and do not make smart decisions on the road. Thank you.